Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered, weak and weary, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, tapping at my chamber door. Tis some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door, only this and nothing more. Ah, distinctly I remember it was in a bleak December, and each separate dying ember wrought its ghost upon the floor. Eagerly I wished the morrow, vainly I had sought to borrow from my books surcease of sorrow, sorrow for the lost Lenore, for the rare and radiant maiden whom the angels name Lenore, nameless here, forevermore. And the silken, sad, uncertain rustling of each purple curtain thrilled me, filled me with fantastic terrors never felt before. Presently to still the beating of my heart I stood repeating is some visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door. Some late visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door. Merely this and nothing more. was unbroken and the stillness gave no token and the only word there spoken was the whispered word Lenore this I whispered and an echo murmured back the word Lenore merely this and nothing more back into the chamber turning all my soul within me burning Soon again I heard a tapping Somewhat louder than before Surely, said I, surely that is Someone at my window lattice Let me see then what they're at is And this mystery explore Let my heart be still a moment And this mystery explore Tis the wind and nothing more I flung the shutter When with many a flirt and flutter In there stepped a stately raven Of the saintly days of yore Not the least obeisance made he Not a minute stopped or stayed he But with mien of lord or lady Perched above my chamber door Perched upon a bust of Eris Just above my chamber door Perched and sat And nothing more smiling by the grave and stern decorum of the countenance it wore though thy crest be shorn and shaven thou I said are sure no craven ghastly grim and ancient raven wandering on the nightly shore tell me what thy lordly name is on this night's plutonian shore quoth the raven nevermore Now the raven sitting lonely on that placid bust spoke only That one word as if his soul in that one word he did outpour Nothing further than he uttered, not a feather than he fluttered Till I scarcely more than muttered, other friends have gone before On the morrow he will leave me, as 
as my hopes have flown before, quoth the raven, nevermore. And then methought the air grew denser, perfumed by an unseen censer, swung by seraphim whose footfalls tinkled on the tufted floor. Once more on the velvet sinking, I betook myself to linking, fancy on to fancy, thinking what this ominous bird of yore, what this grim, ungainly, ghastly, gaunt, and ominous bird of yore meant in croaking. Chanted on this home by horror haunted Tell me truly I implore Is there, is there bomb in Gilead? Tell me, tell me I implore Quoth the raven, nevermore Prophet said I think of evil Prophet still if bird or devil By that heaven stretched above us By that God we both adore Tell this soul with sorrow laden If within the distant Aden It shall clasp a sainted maiden Whom the angels name Lenore Clasp her air and radiant maiden Whom the angels name Lenore Quoth the raven Nevermore Be that word our sign in parting Bird or fiend I shrieked of starting Get thee back into the tempest and the night's plutonian shore. Leave no black bloom as a token of that lie thy soul has spoken. Leave my loneliness unbroken. Quit the bust above my door. Take thy beak from out my heart and take thy form from off my door. Quoth the raven, nevermore. Now the raven never flitting, still is sitting, still is sitting On the pack bust of Eris, just above my chamber door And his eyes of all the seeming of a demon's that is dreaming And the lamplight o'er him streaming throws his shadow on the floor And my soul from out that shadow that lies floating on the floor Will be lifted <laughs> 